Hey, kia ora, everybody. Welcome to uh, Will and Tom's Excellent Adventure Cooking Show. Anyway, yeah, I haven't done this for ages. Just sort of haven't had time because uh, the mukos are uh, taking over the house and destroying it. Yeah, I never get a never get a chance to get in there. So I'm out booted out into my garage. Green screen behind me. You can't use a sink, but uh, it's all right. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to show you guys how to bottle trout. Can do it with other fish. With the trout, I don't take the bones out because I love that. I love that texture with the bones, so I don't take the bones out of that. But with the things like kahawa and all that, or whatever you're going to use here, maybe with the bigger bones, you'd want to take them out because they don't they don't go soft. So this morning we caught a couple of trout. Oh, we actually caught four trout. Me and Mum this morning. Anyway, um, so yeah, we caught four. Uh, we got down to the river and Nick Mana. We left our cameras behind our phones, so couldn't take any photos. Um, so yeah, we had a couple for our breakfast. Yeah, had a boiled one, and you would have, you guys have seen my boiled trout recipe, so it just came out just as delicious as that. We also chucked one in the oven. So I kept another two. I thought, oh, what am I going to do with those? I think I might do a raw fish or something, and I thought, ah, fuck it. I'll make some um, make some jarred fish out of it. So, I've prepped my jars. They're all ready to go. If you have seen my last video on when I boil mussels, yeah, you'd see how I um, prep my jars and I use this stuff. Brutek, swear by it. Uh, everybody else, you know, whatever, however you prep your jars, whether you boil them, do whatever you like. It's all good, but I use the Brutek. And with these smaller jars, I just put about a quarter of a teaspoon in into each into each one half a teaspoon into this to the larger jar and with uh, semi warm semi warm to hot water shake them around give them five ten minutes boom they're ready to go you know if it kills all the nasties in beer man it'll do the same in there and I've been using it for years so it's all good right so yeah I kept a couple of the trout and what I'm going to do with these jars, uh, I don't know how much, how much whether it's going to fill all those or whether it might only fill a couple, we'll soon find out. So what I'm going to do with each of these jars is I'm going to do one in um, lemon pepper, I'm going to do one in tomato sauce, and do these couple just normal because that's how I like them, just with a bit of salt. This one here, yeah, if we've got enough, I'll we'll throw, throw some fish in there. So these are all prepped up, they're ready to go. These uh, jars open. So I've got fish, salt, tomato sauce, lemon pepper, and pepper. Because I love pepper, so yeah, it's all good. All right, we'll start out with, uh, we'll just do the lemon pepper one first. Next is here, we just layer all our fish in. Actually, I might be going to need more jars. So what I do with this is I don't put fill them right up before I add the salt and um, pepper. I just add a bit in at a time. Just put a teaspoon. So it's about a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of whatever to um, to each small jar. I'll get in there. But we did. Okay, so lemon pepper and just a little bit of salt. Not too much because there's already enough flavouring in it. Just a little. Okay, so there's a lemon pepper one ready to go. Next up, we're going to do the tomato sauce one. Okay, so add the fish. Sprinkle a bit of salt in there. Add some more. Just the salt. And 
Now you see all the little gaps in there, and we'll fill it up with tomato sauce. Ooh, look at that. So as it's as it's cooking, it's all gonna mix together. Make a beautiful bread. So there's a salt and pepper, tomato. And we'll just make our normal one. That's how I like it. I just like it normal, really. Now that bad boy's ready to go. Check those out. Easy and simple. Okay, so I've got enough for maybe, well, I'll wait for this jar up, but it's, yeah, I'll be, I'll be cracking this jar open tomorrow. Throw that in there. Let's get that in there. It's not bad for a couple of fish. And what I've actually got two in here uh these because all we caught today was um well jacks so that's the male roux and that's going in here that's going in this jar right, let's get that out of here so we're going to put two <coughs> teaspoons of salt in here and that one is good to go okay pure easy and simple just like that Spacehead. Okay, so there's a ready to rumble. But um, you know, for for you guys that, that that do it, you know, like it doesn't matter what you put in there, you know, you put in whatever you like. You can put in um spices, you can make them hot, you can, you know, like with chili or whatever. However you do them is however you do them. Um yeah, I'm more of a normal person kind of guy, so I like mine straight. Mum likes hers with tomato sauce, so yeah, this is done with tomato sauce. I also like it with uh, lemon pepper, so yeah. And um, this one here, yeah, this is going to be the special bonus one. Okay, so these aren't going to go into the pot and get boiled like um, like how I've done my uh, mussels. They're going to go into my steamer. I'm going to do them in the steamer for about, uh, probably about seven hours. Seven hours, just keep checking the water. Um, yeah, and I'll show you guys the results when it's all done. So yeah, we'll get the next part next part rolling and yeah get you some photos up of uh, how it is and do a taste test when it's finished okay so here they are all cooked and ready oh looks beautiful too kia ora everybody welcome back okay so these are have all been done I've um, had them in the keg cooker for several hours and then just let them cool down after that uh, i pulled them out the next day when i got home from work and they're all done so um yeah but just gotta remember like if you're gonna do these in a pot make sure you start your timer once it starts to boil or once the water starts boiling in your keg then you start the timer for your five to seven hours um i did it i did it for seven hours because it was pretty cold last night and as it was cooling down it would have cooled down a little bit quicker so that's the reason why i did it a little bit longer but they came out awesome so we've got the tomato sauce one there got your two ordinary ones this one here is normal as well but it's got the um male egg row in it and then we've got the um lemon pepper one Okay, so mum wants to open up uh, the tomato sauce one, so that's the one we're going to open. Um, just remember too, as well, uh, um, you know, just a teaspoon of salt in each of these for the smaller ones and a tablespoon in there. You can level it off. Do it to however you want to do the taste as well, you know, it's up to you. If you like it a little bit more salty, maybe add a little bit more. Up to you, however you do it. So you can tell these are sealed. They all sucked in the, the lids, so they will last forever and ever. Probably won't last forever because you end up eating it all. 
Anyway, bring that phone over here and let's have a look. Okay. Ooh hoo hoo! Check that noise out and check that out. Okay, so I'm gonna slap that on a couple of breads, one for me and one for mum. Oh, look at that! The smell. Beautiful, beautiful. Mmm, yum. Check the tomato sauce out. I love the uh, bones in there too. They've been nice and soft. Okay, this is one for me, and one for mum. Depending on what bread you want to use too. So like this is keto bread. Put it on your crackers, tomatoes on top of it, whatever cheese. You know, whatever, however you want to do it. Oh, look at that. And then add more tomato sauce in it, spices. And then, uh, okay, so add a little bit of salt, because I like my salt. And a little bit of pepper on mine, because I like pepper. And now the taste test. Delicious. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Bang on, perfect. So now, yep, me and Mum are gonna end up probably peeling all of that back, finish, polish that whole thing off. And um, yeah, it's delicious. So you guys have a crack at it. Doesn't matter what kind of fish you use, just try different fishes, try all different types, whatever. However, you do it. But this is absolutely beautiful and um yeah so whether you're watching this in the morning noon or night i hope you fellas are staying safe keeping warm and oh man party on oh sorry i just had to um show you guys this avocado cheese tomato and bottled trout with sauce in it Ooh. Oh, hang on, I forgot something. And pepper. 